Alright, in this problem it tells us a projectile is launched straight up from the ground level with an initial velocity of 272 feet per second. So let's create ourselves a visual. I have my visual over here. And it's, it's more fun when you kind of put a story to it, okay? Something like, I don't know, your ex gave you something and you guys broke up and you're like really mad, right? And you just like throw it in the air and you don't care where it lands, you actually want it to land really hard on the ground there, right? So if you think about what's happening, right, slow motion like a movie, this is representing time. So let's write that. Time measured in what? Seconds. And then this one is height measured in feet. Everyone say label. I want to see labeled pictures. Okay, so we just wrote down a formula. You can write that right below this problem. S equals negative 16 T. My T's, I like to put capital T's so it doesn't get confused with my pluses. V zero T plus S O. A projectile is launched straight up. Well, don't think straight up like, you know, you're so mad you just throw it straight up in the air. What is going to happen in the cartoon? It's just going to fall back on your head. So kind of think like you're just like chucking it. From the ground level, so this is ground level. You want to write that. The x, the x axis is ground level. Let's write it here. Ground level with an initial velocity of 270 feet uh, per second. My initial is v o. Then I ask you, uh, when will the projectile's height be above um, 960? So on my picture, they kind of want to know, like, if this was 960, when will, when is time, let's write that, When is a time question? What is t equal to? Does that make sense? When, what is t when the projectile's height is above 960? So they kind of want an, an interval of time. Well, 960 is here. Initial velocity, so it's 272 t. This part of the equation just kind of falls down, negative 16 t squared plus 270 t. And then SO is the vertically launched. Well, think about it. Where did you uh, throw? Well, you started from, um, from ground level. You started here. So if you're at ground level, you're at zero feet. So this would be plus zero. Well, all I have here is just the quadratics. So I'm gonna go ahead and subtract 960. So I have 0 equals negative 16t squared plus 272t minus 960. Well, I have a big quadratics problem. I don't know. Let's see, what is, let's see if we can factor out a negative 16. I'm left with t squared 2 272 divided by negative 16 gives me negative 17t 
remember you can always distribute to check your answer and then 960 divided by 16 goes 60 times so that would be a plus 60 and then I'm going to take a shot at factoring Remember, I only have to use the x if your a value is equal to 1. Pay attention when you're taking out the greatest common factor, your a, b, and c is where, class? Everyone say inside. So a times c is 60. b value is negative 17. Two numbers that multiply to be 60, but add to be 17. What are they? Twelve and five, and what do I have to do to this? Negative. So, because my a value is equal to one, I only have to use the x. Minus twelve, minus five. <coughs> now I'm just going to use the zero product rule. Zero equals. Uh, whoops. I'm setting each of those equal to zero. Negative 16 equals zero. T minus 12 equals zero. T minus five equals zero. Class, can negative 16 ever equal zero? No, that's false. So the greatest common factor doesn't really do anything. If I add 12 here, I get T equals 12. And over here, I'll get t equals what? Five. So to answer the question, when what is t? When will the projectile's height be above ground? Uh, be above ground? Be 960 feet? That'll be when time is five and 12 seconds. <laughs> what does this mean for us? It means that this location, uh, not drawn scale, our time here on here is 5 and here it is uh, 12. So these are order pairs are 5 comma 960, right? After 5 seconds, your x's, you know that special notebook you guys shared? It's 960 feet in the air. And then at 12 seconds, it's also 960 feet in the air. Question B. When is the projectile's height above ground? So it's always going to say above ground because the quadratic can go below. Does that make sense? But we're kind of restricting it. We'll use this word later on. We're restricting the domain to just uh, positive values. Because you can't have negative time. And you can't have negative height. Unless it's like that cartoon where you throw it in the air and it crashes through the ground. Like you really want their your best friend's old notebook to really go far on the ground. They're really that vengeful. Not judging it. So when is it more than 960 feet? Well this is 900. Above the green line, above my pen, is that's when it's above 960 feet. So if I look at my time, between time 5 and 12 seconds. Now not including 5 and not including 12 seconds. I'm not including 5 because at 5 seconds it's exactly 960 feet. And then like 5.1 seconds is at 965. Does that make sense? And then thousands and it's coming back down. So between 5 and 12 seconds. 
I used integral notation. When is the projectile's height above ground less than? Well, I just have to think in integral notation starting from here. If I start here, where's this class in time? Zero. I'll include zero because at zero time it should be zero seconds. And then all the way up to five seconds because it says less than or equals to. So this is kind of like the left side. And then over here, this is where it's less than 960 feet. So that's at 12 seconds. Pay attention. And 17. Now you might ask, how did I get 17? Well, look at your look at this and your property of quadratics. In this problem, we didn't figure out the maximum, but the maximum would have been your folding point. Yes? Uh, parabolas are uh, symmetrical. It can be folded in half. So what happens on one side happens on the other side. Does that make sense? So here, if the distance between here and here is how much? It's 5. Kind of draw a box on that helps. Then the distance between here and here is also going to be 5. So you add 5 to 12, you get 17. Okay? And then in this problem where it says less than, just like we did uh, yesterday's lesson, we're not including everything in between, right? I just want this time and this time, so we put union. When is it below 960 feet? Well, that's between times 0 and 5. And then 12 and 17. In this projectile motion problem, read it, draw yourself a picture, solve it using quadratics. Um, and then use your picture to make sense of the problem.